Hey guys, Old School Brian here. Uh, first off, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, today's Sunday, of course, Father's Day. And I went with the family to um, the flea market today. See if I could find some stuff, see if I could find what I missed out on last week, um, which I didn't. Last week I went to the flea market and um, when we left, it was late in the day and my wife said she thought she saw something. Um, so later on we looked at it on the computer and um, she thought that she saw it sealed and um, so I thought I can go back today and get it. I ended up getting there a little late so it may have been there and it may not have been there. Um, but that was a sealed copy for the original PlayStation of Vanguard Bandits. Um, it's pretty valuable. It's probably worth $250, $300, maybe more sealed. Um, depending on the condition and uh, so I may or may not have missed out on it because um, she could have always made a mistake and maybe that wasn't the game um, so whatever um, so I missed out on it or I might not have missed out on it but I did go there and get a decent amount of stuff for several systems um, games there um, as you guys know, I'm trying to build up my Nintendo collection, so I got some NES titles there. And um, I've also decided to start building on my Nintendo 64 and my GameCube collections. So I picked up some stuff for that. Alright, so I guess we'll get this out of the way. I did find a PlayStation game. It's a Greatest Hits. It's Siphon Filter 2. I don't really know anything about it. Um, the looks of it, it looks pretty cool. So I probably will check it out. It is complete, um, although there is some scratches on the discs, but they look like they will play. Um, basically, I picked this up because there was a guy that was selling another game, and it was one for three or two for five, so I figured I'd pick up something else, and I knew I didn't have that, so that's what I grabbed. Um, I got a couple Atari games, uh, all pretty much doubles of games I already have, but they were a quarter each, so I decided to pick them up. I mean, you really can't go wrong quarter each. I can always trade them off or whatever, um, but I do already have these games. Uh, the first one is Circus Atari. The second one is Surround. Next one is um, by Activision, it's Sky Jinx. And the last one is Crystal Castles, um, which has got a pretty cool label. Um, I do like the way that looks. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so there you go. Oh, as you guys, I don't know if you, if you noticed, but up here I took all my Atari games out of here and, and all my PlayStation games are out of here. So this is basically going to be my Nintendo stuff. Although I still have the Sega CD up here and stuff like that, I gotta move that. Um, trying to make my room where everything is kinda where it should be instead of having like Nintendo games up here and the systems over there and box games over there. I try to put it all in one spot, so it is looking a little bit, a little bit different over here, but uh, not done. All right, I uh, got a couple GameCube games. Um, the first one, they're all uh, complete. And in good condition. So the first one is Super Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube, which is a pretty cool game. I used to have this game and got rid of it. Um, that's the inside. Back. Uh, it's one of my my brother-in-law's favorite games. Uh, you know, I don't remember if it's this or, or the first one. Um, but So I have that, so I'm kind of building on my GameCube collection. i, I got to get the first one, too. Uh, then I got Nickelodeon Rocket Power Beach Bandits, uh, two bucks, you can see right there. Uh, this one should be also be, yep, it is complete. That's the back. I was happy with that. Uh, Super Monkey Ball, I also paid $2 for that. And the last GameCube game, I think, is Crash Bandicoot, uh, The Wrath of the Cortex. Alright, and it's the greatest hits. Or a player's choice, um, also complete. And that's it. I was never big on collecting the GameCube games, but I just, I don't know, I decided that I want to get back into it. Um, usually I only bought the games I actually play and wanted to play. 
So now I'm buying everything, and I'll try to give everything a shot. If not me, my son definitely likes the GameCube game, so be good to go with him. Uh, for the Sega Genesis, I got Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Uh, same thing. These are all pretty much doubles, but I did get them for a dollar each, so I was happy with that. Uh, all the GameCube games were two bucks. I got Streets of Rage. Road Rash 3, and Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I got all those for a buck each for the Genesis. Uh, I actually found a seller at the flea market this time that I wish I had my camera. They had a lot of bootleg stuff, which was kind of odd. I've never really seen too many bootleg PlayStation games, um, but you could tell that they were in regular one they were in the regular DVD cases um, the the labels were you could tell they were printed out and they didn't fit the sleeves correctly they were sh too short um, and I don't know it's just I don't know I mean t they might not have been fake but to me they look like really bootleg I've never really seen too much of that before um, so next thing is pretty cool it's for the PlayStation I don't think it's any rare anything rare or anything like that I'm not sure how many um, of these are made or how exactly you went about getting them um, I'm thinking that they probably came with another game uh, and that's Squaresoft um, on the PlayStation Collector CD uh, both discs <coughs> are mint um, <coughs> it's got a Final Fantasy games on there uh, Sage Front Saga Frontier Bushido Blade um, Final Fantasy Tactics, but yeah, it's a collector CD, I guess it's a sampler of the games, and I paid five bucks for it, so I'm pretty sure that I got a decent deal on that. Uh, for the NES, I got Arch Rivals, a basket brawl, all titles I needed, I paid two dollars each for them, uh, Heavy Shredding. Pictionary, um, Section Z. Now oh, here's one I paid a buck for, Slalom. Um, but what sucks about that is I bought this game and I have a package on the way and I didn't have it put into my inventory yet, so I am getting a double of this game because I have one coming uh, that should be here this week. And then I bought Karate Kid and I paid a buck for it and the games were in a thing like that. And I didn't notice until just now how jacked up the label was. But I did pay a buck for it and I needed it. So I'm um, fine with that. And I do want to give that a shot along with uh, Basket Brawl. I want to try that game too. Looks pretty cool. Uh, next items I got were two bucks each. And they're both Tiger Electronics handhelds. Uh, one's Electronic Football. And then I got Electronic Bowling. Um, both of them have their backs, which is awesome. And um, they both say 1987. I do have to check to see if I have these or not. Um, I was kind of debating on getting them when I was at the flea market, but I was like, you know what, two bucks, you can't beat it, I'll just get them, and if I do end up having them, I will always trade them off or something like that. But I'm definitely big on collecting the Tiger Electronics, but they got to be the ones like this. I'm always keeping an eye out for them. And the last thing I got, I went somewhere else today, I went out to dinner and stuff like that, and I stopped at Target, and I found... Um, Entourage, the eighth season. So I've been waiting for this this to come out for a while. Um, I don't know when it came out because I only check for it when I go to go to um, Target or whatever. Well, it says disc made in Mexico. It's stamped on there. But uh, I am happy to get this. So I will probably be watching this tonight after the game or yeah, the game starts in 15 minutes. So while I'm uploading and, and editing this video I'll be watching the game and then I'll be watching this Entourage one of the awesome shows um, and now I got every season alright so that's it 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll do an overview, show you everything I got, and make sure you thumbs up. It helps me out. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later.